Hey guys, good morning. It's March 26th, 2021, and I'm Kimberly Jolly, and I'm here with Lily from Fat Quarter Shop, and we are going to have a lot to show you today. Basically, we're gonna do our Socialites free block. We're on block 24. We have a new book to show you, new Moda, new Riley Blake, uh, tons of sew alongs. In fact, there was a sew along release two days ago that I'm very excited about. Mm -hmm. So this one might be a little bit long, um, so bear with me. We wanna start off with Socialites Block 24, and it is designed by Robin Thickens, and I'm gonna show you her block. It's called Abundant, and she made all three sizes because in this program, we give you three inch, six inch, and nine inch free. And so the bottom two are stitched with thatched fabric. Mm -hmm. And um, there are some brand new colors from thatched. Thatch is the background that we used in our, mm -hmm. in our serendipity uh, block of the month that's also free for charity. So that's pretty awesome. And I think she used scraps for the other one. I'm gonna show you the blocks that I've made and the sample makers have made. I would say this one's maybe intermediate. This one came out really busy. So it's kind of all over the place. I don't love the fabric on this one. It is Homestead by April Rosenthal. I feel like maybe it would have gone better in a, in a block that wasn't so chopped up maybe. But this is my nine inch, six inch, and three inch. And I made those quite a while ago. And these are the blocks that our sample makers made. Quotation by Zen Chic, Figs and Shirting by Deborah, Folktale by Terry, Shine On by Sue, and Cider by Angel. So this is a Zen Chic fabric, Fig Tree fabric, Layla Boutique fabric, shot Bonnie and Camille fabric, and basic gray fabric. So you can see a big wide range of designers, and you can see that when Teresa made this, she had these words. Ooh. So that gives it a really nice look. Yeah. So this is the block we're gonna make today. And again, Socialites is available in three inch, six inch, nine inch, completely free pattern. I'm going to set these aside real quick. And I'm going to show you kind of what I'm doing with mine. Because the previous ones that I made in Homestead, I am going to use the finishing instructions that we're going to have at the very end of the program. Two of the quilts will auction for Make-A-Wish, where the money goes directly to Make-A-Wish. One of them I will keep. So I have been demonstrating the nine inch blocks using apricot and ash. So I have made all of these in a previous video on a Friday live stream, and I have two left to go to make this in the crib size. So I have a question to ask you guys. Ooh. So these are my blocks. I do have them organized by color because I was kind of playing with them this weekend. Mm -hmm. So this is a low price pattern, it's a PDF, and I'm going to be doing this layout, which is the crib, which is 12 blocks, nine inch blocks. I am going to make my borders wider. I'm gonna cut them three and a half instead of two and a half. I'm going to use this fabric for my background, which is the same as this, so this will all be background. This is going to be my binding, but my question for you guys is, I was thinking about using this for the backing, which is a panel. Mm -hmm. So I bought two panels and just asked um, on my order for them to not cut them apart. So I'm gonna finish my quilt, and then I guess lay it on top of this to see if it will look good, and if it fits, kind of good. If it doesn't, I guess I can't really use it. But I thought, this is such a beautiful panel, 
and then your quilt can become two-sided. Now it might look funny because I might start cutting into stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. It might be one that I send to the quilter and let her decide and send her two fabrics maybe. Mm -hmm. But this is kind of my idea to put on the back. That's why I got the this because I thought that would really tie together to the back, mm -hmm. but I'm not sold on it. I've never done something like that where I put this on the back, so I'm not 100% sure. Or what I might do, another thing I thought about doing is cutting it down a little bit and then adding some of this, I'd have to buy more to the outside so nothing is chopped off. But I just want to finish my top first and then go from there. But I bought two panels mm. and I, I'm sure two panels is enough. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I could somehow put in one of my Sweetwater labels. But I thought it would be something, you know, different that I haven't done before. People are loving the panel as a backing. Let me look into this. Okay, uh, it's coming back on. So let's just give it a minute. Okay. Okay, we should be good. Okay, so sorry about that. There was a technical difficulty. So this is the block. You can print this free from our website, which is fatquartershop.com. And we're gonna work on the nine inch block today. And I need to mark out the other one. Let me see if I can find my... Your sticky? Mm -hmm, my sticky. There it is. Just so I don't make a mistake, because I get very easily distracted. So I kind of looked at this and what I'm going to do is we're going to be making the nine inch size. So when you're looking at your numbers, the first per, the first section is three inch, the second is six inch, and the third is nine inch. So for the two by three and a half, that would be one and a half by three finished. So I'm going to actually use our paper. And what's great about showing you this today is you only use three. So I'm going to show you on the paper how you can just use half of the page. Oh. I'm going to stitch this normally and this normally. So my B and G, I'll put a little note to not cut those yet. So I'll put like a B and G will cut those last because mm -hmm. we're going to cut those for the paper. And if you are using, if you're making the six inch size, you can use the one by two inch flying geese paper. That SKU is ISE-774. This SKU for the nine inch block is ISE-775. And for the small one, we don't have paper that small. But of course you could use some of the other paper and trim it down. Mm -hmm. um, we will be adding sizes. Um, I know that we are adding square and square sizes right now. First, before we do the flying geese. So what I'm going to do is get my design board and put my alphabeties on here. And then we'll start cutting. So for my background fabric, I'm gonna iron it real quick. I haven't ironed it yet. I actually have kind of a big piece going. That's a lot, so I'm gonna actually cut it down real quick, which is what I do at home, just to make it easier. And I'll just iron this piece. I was thinking this will be a really nice Easter quilt. Yeah. Because I was trying to think of what I could put out for Easter, and I thought, oh, well, the one I'm making. Yeah. It won't be done for this year, but for future years. <laughs> okay. So it says cut two four and a quarter by five inch rectangles. So what I'm gonna do for that is 
This is the salvage, so I just kind of put this above my salvage because I don't ever want to use that. I'm going to try to cut two off of right here. So I'll do five inches this way, four and a quarter this way, and just kind of that way I'm saving fabric. When I'm doing a block by block, I just usually start in the corner. I never really thought about it before, but when I notice what I'm doing on camera is I'm always starting in that corner, and that's the way that um, I have the least amount of mess. Now I am gonna show you one thing. Is right here. Let me see if I can get it to where you can see it. Okay. Can you zoom in a tad? Yeah. Thanks. Okay, so right here and right here, you can really see the crease. Mm -hmm. And that's from when it was folded because I started with the fat quarter bundle. So I'm not going to keep going. I'm going to iron that out. Mm -hmm. So I will just iron over here. But if it does not come out, I will put starch on it or water and it will eventually come out. Mm. So, ta-da! Just takes a little bit extra sometimes on those. So that's why I like layer cakes best because I don't have to worry about that. So that's A. We're going to skip B and come back to that. C, we need two two-inch squares. Ooh, looky right there. I'm going to get that right there. Well, that is lucky. <laughs> yeah, that was, I did, definitely did not, I was not smart enough to plan that, I'll tell you that. <laughs> that, um, and this is a little bit wrinkly, so I'm going to iron those real quick. And that is my C. So I'll put it on my design board. And then we'll come back to the to the flying geese in a little bit. So I'll just put this aside. Now, the last two fabrics that I picked, because I went home and just looked at what I had left over, I'm gonna be doing floral. So today I'm doing this floral. And one thing to think about when you're working with a big floral, if you're working with a big floral and you don't want all this chopped up, because if you chop it up, for example, right there, you're gonna get peach. Mm -hmm. What if you don't want all that? What if you really want more of this? Mm -hmm. Then you just think about that before you cut and you can get the look of darker or lighter if you have enough to play with. Mm -hmm. Now, I particularly on this one don't care, but that's a way to think about. And if you want more variety in your quilt and you don't have as many pieces, well, you could put this some places in one block and more of this in another block and it will look like totally different fabrics. So you can always play with those big pieces like that to see just a different look or... I had just started with a fat quarter bundle from Apricot and Ash. And I still haven't decided on what I'm gonna do with my three inch blocks, but... I got sidetracked because of the new sew along that came. I placed an order for that, and so I kind of got sidetracked. <laughs> okay, so for here we need, for D, we need one three and a half by nine and a half. So I'm gonna do the bottom. So you see, I just look three and a half, nine and a half, and just make sure my is above my um, three and a half line is above the dots on the salvage. And if you don't see dots, you can always feel it. You can feel the difference between the regular fabric and the salvage. Now, are there salvages in some of my quilts? Absolutely. Because sometimes I don't realize it until it's too late. So let's see, three and a half by nine and a half. And I really like this block. I think it's pretty, I think it's pretty cute. So I'll put a D on that. That's pretty, look. It's really pretty because it's kind of got a little, a little bit, bit of everything. Yeah. <laughs> okay, my E, 
I'm going to cut two four and a quarter inch squares. So I'll go to this corner and it's actually easier for me to use this. And I think that when you're cutting up your fabrics, and if you're working with a three inch block, you can really get a different look because the smaller the block. So there I just made sure that I got through both layers and that I don't have any, you know, you can always hide some of that selvage in your um, seam allowance, even though I try not to, but I, but I do. Okay, so for F, I need a two by five inch rectangle, which is going to be my stem. So I'm gonna to try to get that here. So we'll see what I get. Okay. So I'll just kind of cut that out of here. So lots of people are complimenting the shirt you're wearing today. They oh. say you look very pretty in pink. Thanks. This little piece I'm gonna throw away. It's too, too, too small. It's, it's less than one and a half inches. Now, so I have this whole big piece left that I will chop up and put in my scrap bucket. So I'll take that home and chop that up. Oh, I can't put that away yet because I still have to do the other. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to what is actually step one in the pattern. And you can piece this as a regular flying geese or you can try the paper. Now, I would suggest if you're interested in the paper, just buy one pad, see if you like it before you buy all four. You might not like it. I happen to love it. So, I need three rectangles. Or, th sorry, three flying geese. So what I do is you want to make sure you keep this because this is what you cut. Don't lose that. This is different block ideas. Just, you know, for the fun of it. Now I need three. So one, two, and three. Now I want to tell you guys this because I think that y'all will ask. You're going to say, why is there so much room over here? The reason why is when you buy paper, you buy it in certain increments. So if we would have made the paper smaller, the product would have cost a lot more because it would have been custom cut. Mm -hmm. So we're not trying to ruin, you know, waste paper, but this was an existing size and going to a smaller paper would have cost too much. So I'm actually, because there is that extra paper, I'm just gonna cut around these dotted lines just because you don't need all that. And not only would it cost more, it would take a lot longer to create the product. Mm -hmm. So that is why there is so much paper and why each of the different flying geese have different margins because mm -hmm. it's stock paper. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we have two options. We can make four or we can make three. I'm just gonna make three, so I'm gonna just cut, chop this off. Can I get the add a quarter? Yeah. So I'm going to put this actually in here and just, it'll stay. You can use it another time. Thank you. So what I'm going to do first before I cut my fabric is I have found that by setting these creases with your add a quarter ruler will save time later. Yes, thank you. And you could use a regular ruler or this one. I just, I like to use this one. And it just helps me see the lines on the other side. We do have videos on how to use this paper from start to finish. Also, and then I'm just gonna make my creases a little bit more pronounced. Now on here, I'm gonna just 
actually cheat on the background fabric. I'm not even gonna look at my, I'm not gonna look at my instructions. I am gonna look for the triangles though that you cut for the outside. So on this, what I will do, I'm gonna use this glue. I'm so glad that Lily remembered. Oh. <laughs> I just put the glue, you can put it on the paper, you can put it on the fabric. Put it on the wrong side of the fabric and that glue will just keep it in place and I'm just gonna cut that out. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And then cut this out. Well, and can you explain why creasing the paper first will make it faster? Okay, yes. You said creasing, right? Yes. Okay. So, oops, cut it too. Okay, so now I'll show you that. I'm kind of making a pile over here, Lily, sorry. It's okay. So what I do at this point is I'm going to cut a quarter inch away. So if I've, oh, my glue stick. is if it's glued, well, I use glue because it sticks down and doesn't move, does better off camera. But it, now that I already have the creases when I do this, I don't have to fussy with it because it's already done. Mm -hmm. I don't have to stop and it kind of saves time because when you do it here, you've got the fabric behind it. So it just saves time. And sometimes that blue stays on there, it'll come off eventually. I don't want you to worry about it. And you're not really supposed to use that much glue. I just got carried away. Because, <laughs> you know, it is Friday. It is Friday. And I do have a crazy weekend. I'm just like, have so much anxiety about it. I'm like, oh my God, I don't want to go. Aww. Okay, so for my triangles that are going to go on here, I do need to look at my, my math. It says three inch squares. And I need three of those. So, I'm gonna just do it right here. And they don't have to be exact. You don't even have to like, they don't not have to be exact at all because you're gonna trim them down. So you're gonna see I'm cutting faster than normal because it does not have to be exact. I'm actually cutting four because I don't need four, but just to save time. And then I'm gonna cut these on the diagonal once. And we're gonna make the flying geese. So what you do is you put your fabric right sides together, have an open toe foot. I know that's the t not correct technical name, but it's what I call it and you're gonna turn it over and stitch directly on the line. Okay. I can fix that. So I'm gonna show you one thing. She's gonna fix the light. I do like to turn my stitch length down. And so what I want them to be able to see is right there. Oh, sorry, I put my hand there. Oh, you're good. Hold you can see the lines. I can talk here. Yes, perfect. Okay, so here, I don't start stitching here because I don't want my stitches to come out. So I actually start out here a little bit. It'll keep it secure. And just whatever your normal stitch length is, just go down a little bit. And then I went past. It's hard to see, but I went that far and started out here. Now here, I'm gonna do two opposing sides. Mm at the same time.
So now I'm going to press. Now with the paper, what is going to happen is with the paper, you can only get one of the sides to press open, not both. And that will be okay because I'm going to show you how to make that work. Now with the paper, you really shouldn't have on your steam. So I'm going to turn that off. I still hit the button because it's nature. <laughs> Because you don't want, it'll make your paper shrink and you don't want it to shrink. So just let it sit there a little bit. And then I will come back. Since I've already trimmed this, I just pull this back a little bit and just cut the little slivers off. And then add those last triangles. We have a new board. Are you so excited? I'm excited. <laughs> it's pretty. The it's last, pretty. the other one was like, it had turned brown. I'm excited. It looks pretty. It's so much less dirty. Okay, now I'm going to turn my steam back on for next time. So what you do here, there's no thinking. So you can do this while you watch true crime. Mm -hmm. And in fact, I'm so excited because tonight, You've got to watch Dateline. There's going to be something new. Ooh. Um, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm hoping they aren't like re because they're it's supposed to be new information, oh. but I'm hoping they're not lying. Because oh. you know how sometimes they like make you watch, trick you to watch, tell you it's new and it's not. <laughs> so I just cut on those outside lines. Didn't measure anything. Just cut on the dark lines. So I'll do the same thing over here. Yeah, so I'm already like planning. I like to sew, I like to not be cross stitching. I like to be actually quilting when I do life, when I do Dateline for some reason. Oh. So I'm already planning what I'm gonna do tonight. What are you planning? Um, I'm planning to get my act together and get ahead on some of the, the stitch alongs that I show. Oh. Cause I like to be like two months ahead. Uh -huh. So here on this one, you just do the bottom two. So you don't have to think, you just cut on those lines. Then we're going to pull the paper off. It's very easy. It just comes right off. We use specially, special paper for this. And that's also why it comes in those standard sizes, because it's like a thinner paper. Mm -hmm. It's like a newspaper type paper that's a newspaper-ish paper that's white. Mm -hmm. And that's the Kimberly term. That's not the real term. <laughs> that's the... Okay, so when we put this in the block, it's going to go like this. Oh. But let's turn them over. You need your seams to match, right? Or you could just press it open if you want. And then I go back on the top to make sure it didn't create like a duck pleat. So that one will go there. And then I need one of these to flip. So this one won't flip. Sorry, Lily. Okay. This one won't flip, but this one will. So. 
Now when I make it go the other way, when you go to the front, oh, it's clean. Sometimes it'll have a duck pleat. See right there how it's kind of a little bit divvity? Yeah. So I'm gonna get that out by pressing the poo-poo out of it. <laughs> Press it out. Whoa, let Gone. Me see. So now it should, if I keep them in this order, they should, so I'll kind of do this. If I keep, them in this order it should work so I'm gonna just do flip mm. flip flip I think that's the right direction so now what I will do is the rest of the pattern is a lot of corner squares so I'm gonna kind of get all those ready and sew them all on at the same time so the first one is taking C squares and putting them on the D So I'm actually gonna turn these over, draw a line and pin that on. And then the rest of the block, I will press open like you're supposed to. And the reason we're pressing open on these is because of our setting. But if you're doing a setting where your blocks will not touch, you can press however you would like. Mm -hmm. And then next year, we'll probably do this where we don't press open, where we press to one side, just because every year we try to do everything a little bit different. Mm -hmm. So, put that on there. Put that on there. And then just put it on my design board to pull from. Go to the next page. And then we need to draw a line on the wrong side of the E squares. So we'll do that down here. And we're going to take our A rectangles and follow. One is going to go this way and one is going to go that way. Mm -hmm. And I'm just following my pattern right here. So I'm going to pin these in place so they don't move. And then we're going to sew on all those lines while we have the open toe foot on. And I will move my stitch length back up a little bit and then I'm just going to stitch on those four lines real quick. And my machine came unthreaded. Oh no. It was doing that all day yesterday. I don't know what it's doing. It was, yeah. Probably need to mess with the tension. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go through some super chats and YouTube members here. Perfect. Uh, new member Joan Smith, welcome. And then another new YouTube member, Dragonfly Tracy, welcome. Woohoo! Thank you. And then from here, I'm just going to trim a quarter inch away and then press and press open so Lily can talk while I do all that. Mm -hmm. all right, then we had a super chat from Valeria Bauer for $19.99, and she put a pair that says, thanks for being you, and it's looking at itself in the mirror. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, I want to show something real quick. These are pretty big pieces that were chopped off. So what you could do, mm. sew them together, 
and save them for a half square triangle later. So I'll just put these in my stack to save. And you know, I might use them, I might not. Mm -hmm. Now, the difference here is that's too small. So something this size you could save, this I would not recommend. And I never used to save those, but I kind of started. Mm -hmm. And then we had a super chat from Brenda Connolly for $20. And Brenda says, everything about the Fat Quarter Shop is amazing. And she put a couple of our emojis. Thank you. I don't even know how to use an emoji. <laughs> and then we had a new YouTube member, Bobby Guy. Welcome, Bobby. And new YouTube member, Nancy Voice. Welcome, Nancy. Thank you. New YouTube member, Donna Lawrence. Welcome, Donna. Thank you. And then we had a super chat from Julie Wallace for 50 Canadian dollars, and she put a hippo that's coming out of a treasure chest and throwing the treasure all around. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Julie. And new YouTube member, Eliza B63. Welcome, Eliza. Woohoo. Thanks, you guys, for all your support. Yes, thank you. And question from Beverly Mark and Cotton Do you stitch one thread off the line for folding? I, th I stitch one thread off the line just so that when I rip the paper, the stitches don't come out. Mm. All right, and people have been asking if we have any update on the Aliso irons and the clappers. Aliso, liar, Aliso iron keeps pushing back. They are now quoting June to us, okay. but I have noticed some other vendors have gotten them not quilt shops, but more Joann's fabric. So mm -hmm. if you're really needing one, go to a big box retailer. It looks like they are getting those in stock. The clappers, these, I still don't have an update, but the Gypsy Quilter made some and they should be arriving next Monday. They are a, a different size and I can't, um, I'm, when they come, I'm gonna try them out and I'm gonna give you an honest review on them. They're a different size though. So now I'm gonna just start kind of pinning stuff together and sewing. So I'm gonna change my foot to a quarter inch foot. Also, lots of people have been saying that they watched your interview with Karen Brown of Just Get It Done Quilts and they very much enjoyed it. Thank you. I read all the comments, it made me happy. Aww. Because you know, when you read comments on someone else's channel, you never know what you're gonna get. Yeah. Yeah, and Karen's so sweet. Okay, that's not, okay, look, this is not matching, look. Oh. So maybe I gotta do that. Yeah, I yeah. gotta rotate them. Yeah, because I think when you flip them, it re-reversed it? Yeah, I must have done something. Yeah. But you just make it work. <laughs> Yes, so that is, so Lily, say her channel name. Oh yeah, that's Karen Brown from Just Get It Done Quilts. And describe kind of what she does on her channel. Oh, she does all sorts of things. She has been doing like an interview series, how you saw with uh, Kimberly, she's been interviewing other people. Um, I think that's a, her quilt circle is what she calls it. And then she also has like uh, scrap busting videos and tips and i think her series and uh, my favorite series of hers is like the dollar store series where you go to the dollar store and find things you wouldn't normally think of for sewing and quilting like items you can use to help you so that's really cool she has a whole series on that she also does like uh, tips and uh, ways to quilt at home on your domestic machine i know i've watched a couple of those trying to figure out um for just for my smaller projects at home what i want to do I'm trying to think yeah, the, the most recent thing she's done is that sort of like Zoom interview series. 
Yeah, and it's hard for me to remember what I even said or what questions she asked me, but I never <laughs> rewatch stuff of myself. Mm -hmm. I, it gets in my head, and even when Lily gives me videos to edit of myself, I feel like after I watch them, I don't do very good on the videos because I get really hard on myself. So I have no idea what I said in that video. But I was so happy when y'all had nice comments. It made me happy. Oh, and uh, Crafting Plan Life says she does a lot of organi organization videos as well. That's mm -hmm. right. But yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> and I believe she's from Canada, right? I don't yes. remember. So yeah, there's gonna be some new clappers. I just haven't tried them yet. Mm -hmm. I hope I like them. Okay, yeah, she is from Ontario, Canada. Karen Brown, that is. And then we had a question earlier about cutting from Pat Hanovich. They said, can I ask when you cut a piece, why don't you just cut the whole strip? Because I'm using, um, I'm just using a fat quarter and I don't want to waste the whole thing because when I'm done, I will cut all those pieces that are left over into squares and it's easier for me to just not have to subcut a strip. So it's all just personal preference. So here we just have three lines to do. I'm gonna put this right sides together. Pin on each side, pin throughout, and then sew that, and then I'll add this. But a lot of people do cut full strips when they're cutting. I just, I just always cut from the corner for myself. And then I'm going to add this top. So cute, I love it. It, it looks, looks really so pretty. good. I love that the florals worked out for the flower. Yeah. The tulip. Right? It's a tulip? Uh-huh. I think so. Yeah. I'm not a gardener, but So on here, some people have a preference when they put this through the sewing machine. Some and real quick while we're on this shot, what is that plaid tape you have on your machine? Okay, so this tape I have, if you, this is washi tape that we sell, that's Lori Holtz. If you measure from your needle, from that little hole, go down, it's a straight line. Mm. And the way you can do it is you can put your needle like that, put your mm. ruler like that, have your kid hold it, put some tape, and when you're doing these kind of things, you can stitch following this line and not have to draw lines mm -hmm. on your fabric. So I do that a lot at home, but on the video, I just draw the lines. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna move this real quick. Mm -hmm. Wait, let me make sure everything matches. Yep, everything matches. So I don't, I'm gonna move the sewing machine a little bit just because. Yeah, we don't need it anymore, right? Yeah. 
and I'm going to iron, trim down. I'm going to move this out of the way too. Every time I move something, then I'm like, where is it? Every time. Okay. So I'm going to do these last two seams and then I'm going to trim it down. So press to one side and then I press open. And question from Terry Johnson F. Dink. What is your honest opinion of directional fabrics? I get flustered with them, but probably just need more practice. I think that they're definitely needed in quilts. So like when you're doing a quilt, like when I was thinking about the quilt blocks in here, you want to have some geometric, you want to have a dot, you want to have big floral, small floral. Um, so I definitely like them and I use them. And some pe it just depends on your personality. I do try to make them all go the same direction. It just takes a longer time when I'm cutting. But the one thing I don't like them for is I do not ever put them on the back of a quilt because I get confused and I don't want to buy the wrong amount of fabric. So I do not prefer them on backings because you have to consider the salvage, which way it runs, and then mm -hmm. what if your quilter puts it on the wrong way? Like what if you consider it to be directional but your quilter doesn't, you know, so I just avoid them for backings but for the front of a quilt. I do use them, I just, you know, make sure I'm in a good mood that day. If I'm not, I'll save it for another day. Because the better mood you're in, the better, you know, the easier it's going to be to cut. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! It's cute. I like it. It's so pretty. I know. I really, really like it. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Okay, I'm going to put my pattern back. So this, again, is block 24. It's called Abundant. The designer is Robin Pickens. She is a motive fabric designer. I'm going to move a couple things out of the way mm -hmm. and then answer questions before I take a little break. Mm. All right. And uh, someone earlier was asking if the clapper, the new one from Gypsy Quilter, if that one's going to be bigger or smaller. I don't know. Like so it's, it's, um, it's, it's, um, skinnier on one side and fatter on the other so it's kind of like a oblong shape and there's two sizes so i am waiting for them to arrive once they arrive i mean i can bring them and put them on top of this but i want to try them at home also just to see you know do they give me the same results mm -hmm. i don't know why they wouldn't but you know just to just to be fair okay so i'm going to show you something i'm super excited about Lori and I made this quilt together. So Lori Holt. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be so sad to quilt to give it away. So I'm gonna show you the front and the back. This is our best friend's quilt along that a lot of you joined us on. I'm gonna put it this way actually. Okay, so I'm gonna scoot it on the table and show you and then I'm gonna hold it up and I'm gonna show you the front and the back. This is now available for sale on eBay. It started today and it ends, not this Sunday, but the Sunday after, actually Easter at 8 a.m. It is 48 and a half inches square. I made half of the blocks, Lori made half of the blocks. Gina Tell quilted it and she did the binding and she put the rickrack in. So that's the front. I'm going to show you the back. Ooh. I have it upside down, of course. Well, no, it looks no, good there. Good. So this is, I assembled the back. So what I did, because I had used layer cakes 
to make this. Maybe this is bigger than a layer cake though. I must have had yardage. So I had made extra blocks, put a sweet water label in. I have some backgrounds this way. And then Lori made this label. I signed it and then we applicate it down. And then Gina quilted. So it is signed by Lori and I. And I am going to bid on it a couple <laughs> times because I do want the quilt too. So cool. I'm excited about that. That's really cool. Yes. So I haven't looked to see if anybody's even bid. I have no idea if anyone's even bid yet. Let's see. Question from Sue Sweeney. Uh, she says, Kimberly, what did you think of the big fatty, a.k.a. the big easy? Oh, I think it's awesome. I took it home. I haven't used it yet. I am going to use that for borders. So I will not use that for general. When I was kind of uh, looking at it, I won't use it for general piecing because it's so big. But when I cut borders, even if they're skinny borders, I'm going to use that because it's heavier. And when I cut, I know I can do it faster. Mm -hmm. So yes, um, and we did sell out right away. We sold all of them. Um, there's going to be more in stock soon. It is sold out for a couple of weeks. Okay. The next item is our Jolly Bar Quilt Along. This is starting really soon, so I have shown this a couple times. I just want to show it again. This is a new book called the Jolly Bar Book. Jolly Bars are 5 by 10 inch rectangles that we sell. And you'll need the book. You can find the fabric requirements on our web. You can find the fabric requirements on our blog. This quilt along will be from April 5th to May 24th. So I also recommend the Creative Grids Perfect 10 ruler. This is awesome and helps cut your Jolly Bars. And I am going to be using the Shine On collection. Is that right, Lily? Yes, I think so. Is this Shine On? We didn't write it down. We did not write it down. It looks like Shine On. Let me look real quick. Okay. And this background is from that collection. So this is the first block you're gonna make. So I just wanted to show you this. And I am gonna show you um, some blocks that were featured in the book, just so you can kind of see what kind of quilts are in the book. The book does include 20 patterns and it's a very reasonably priced book. And these blocks were all made for the book and photography in the book, like I'll show you. For example, that, and we used Bella Solids. And Sarah Price made these. She's also the person who puts the book together. And we're gonna send her these blocks back today so that she can put them together into a quilt. Sunday stroll. Sunday stroll. Okay, can you write it on there for yes. the future? Because I'm not going to remember. So yeah, I used the Sunday stroll Jolly Bar. I used the white on white from that collection. Now, I'm going to talk to you about starching also in a second, but I just want to show all these blocks before I send them back. Mm -hmm. It's like a little flag. <laughs> it's like a little butterfly. Oops. Butterfly. And so each week from April 5th to May 24th, everything will be on our blog and I will show my blog that week. So if you want to make it exactly like mine, you can, you can follow, or you can use any Jolly Bar. So you need the book. This part will be free. The fabric requirements are already listed on our blog that you can print out. You will be making one, you know, might make more than one block each week. It just depends. The first week is the biggest block. And I do recommend the Perfect 10 ruler. Now, if you're doing this, you cannot start your Jolly Bar. If you want to start, you have to buy a layer cake, mm -hmm. which kind of defeats the purpose of the Jolly Bar but it's up to you what you want to do. So if you start the Jolly Bar, it will be too short and won't work for the book. Mm -hmm. And 
the net let me know if there's any questions on that first uh yes a couple questions one from wendy artist about the big big easy she said i bought it i love it but it bows up in the middle is that normal since it's so big it shouldn't do that And then Sandy Taylor was asking when the video for Sew By Row will start. There are no videos on Sew By Row. That is a block of the month pattern, but I will be showing you. In fact, I can show, I'll show you. It's in the bottom of the stack. <laughs> uh, it, it's coming up on the, I'm going to show you right after. On today's live stream. Yes, okay. today's, yes, that's the word. <laughs> today's live stream. Um, but there will not be videos. That is because it's written in a book. Okay, so the next sew along I want to show you is Stitchery Sampler by Fig Tree Quilts. We're on the last block, and this block does have a change to it. There's a mistake in the book, so I'm going to show you the mistake, and I'm going to see what we're going to do about it. You want to go to her website. On her website, it tells you exactly the mistake. So you, I just copied and pasted it in a Word doc and printed it. This is what the block is supposed to look like. So you can see that the corners are not very fat. So I'm gonna show you kind of what I did. So I made the block first with the instructions in the book. And then I looked at the block and I said, uh-oh, I made a mistake. So I went and looked and there was a mistake in the book. So that's okay. So this is my block. But I wanted it to be a little bit more like this. So I guessed and came up with this. Oh. And it's not right either. But it doesn't matter. Nobody knows. So I, these squares were one and a half inches. Well, that's what the book says. I couldn't figure out what size to make my squares. So I did two inches because I was doing this like months ago. But then I realized, oh my gosh, she used one and seven eighths. So the correction to your book is instead of cutting two inch squares here, sorry, instead of cutting the one and a half inches squares here, you cut them one and seven eighths mm. to get this. So mine, neither one of mine are right. And I'm okay with that. I'm probably gonna use this one in the quilt this one I'm going to somehow incorporate into the back if mm -hmm. I can. Mm -hmm. On the back, I did decide that I'm going to use C3 steel, which is gray. And the reason why is I looked at all of the Shannon, minky, you know, really soft fabric. C3 is my favorite because it's not too crazy thick. And I like the softness of it. And I didn't like any of the creams or the whites. I felt like they fought this fabric. And I am going to piece a block into it. So what I'm going to be doing this weekend is I'm going to have this whole top finished. Bring it next week along with the backing. So that's probably what I'm going to do in Dateline. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I mean, I could have just left it at this. Mm -hmm. It doesn't good. matter. Like, your quilt does not have to be exact. And for all the details on the changes, I would recommend you look at Joanna's blog and her video. But I am going to show you some other stuff I did. I went ahead. I was actually going to sew the whole quilt together, but I forgot my block here. So, and that's probably best. I went ahead and sewed my borders together. And then I sewed my last row so all i have to do is add the block that i choose to this and then i have it all in my little bucket with my little notes that i should have like um used a clip or something because they kind of went everywhere oh. but um i have everything cut everything ready to go so i am going to put this together tonight i'm very excited and if that dateline is not good i'm going to be so mad because oh. <laughs> they are pumping it up like crazy uh -huh. So that is my stitchery sampler, and I love this quilt. I know exactly where it's going to go. It's going to go in my bedroom. This is the binding that I have, I believe. Well, it has green binding. I'm not sure. I found this fabric, and I wasn't sure why I have it, so I'm not sure really what it goes to, to be honest. I kind of just <laughs> threw it in there and was like, I'm not sure. So let me know if you have any questions on stitchery sampler. I'm going to put this right here. But I do need to take all of that home. I'm going to sew it up tonight. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, the next thing I wanna show you is Sew By Row. But first, I wanted to show you the cross stitch. So Sew By Row is a quilt pattern. It's Lori Holtz, and we are doing a block of the month with it. Block one just shipped. I'm gonna show you all of that and talk about it. But I did wanna remind you that if you want to, this is also a pattern that you can purchase that is cross stitch. And I just took mine to the framer. So I'm excited. I'm gonna hand this to you, Lily. Okay. So that, sorry. Get lost well, I don't wanna put anything on top of it. Yeah. So this is the Sew by Row book. Where's my Sew by Row stuff? It's not in here. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Oh, Sorry. Good. No, you're good, you're good. Okay, so Sew by Row, this is a book that Lori published with Riley Blake a couple of years ago when they had their Imagine channel. So what she wanted to do, because we were coming out with the cross stitch, she wanted to do recolor this and her B basics. And so she colored this for us. If you're in the block of the month and your credit card process, block one would have shipped March 18th. Today is March 26th. So a lot of people have already received it. And this is what you're gonna be making this week Ooh. or this month. So I'm gonna take these home tonight and sew these together so that my row will be done. And then next time when we show you month two, I will show you, I already have these cut. Mm -hmm. I will show you month two blocks and then month row sewn together. Okay, we have a couple questions on Jolly Bar book. Yep. Um, a few people are asking why starching doesn't work for it. Because some of the pieces need to be 10 inches wide. So if you starch, your jolly bar will be nine and three quarters. It will shrink before you cut it. Yeah. Now, if you starch lightly and you just starch a little bit before oh, you, yeah. that's fine. If you starch my way, which I learned from Lisa Von Jean, it's not going to work because I saturate it. Mm -hmm. yeah, no. So it's up to you. I mean, I'm giving you options. What I do is I waste fabric. I buy a layer cake, I starch it, let it dry, and then I use my leftover scraps for the back or put them in my box or whatever. And from Crafting Upon Life, will it only be on the blog, no video? Correct. That's first question. And then her second question is, why do you need the book if you're posting the cutting instructions on the blog? Because the cutting instructions say cut four, three and a half A, cut two, three and a half B, so you refer to your book for your A and B. Yeah. So all your cut sizes are in the book. We just tell you how many to cut. Okay, I'm gonna show you Swirling Stars, which is my 2021 scrap quilt, scrap buster quilt, I guess. Yeah. And I'm using the brand new Triangles on a Roll H550 and H275. So I got some blocks done this weekend. Ooh. So I am using Christmas morning. Mm -hmm. Let me think of what I'm using it for. I made a whole quilt out of it and I've already forgotten. You did. Well, I don't even remember what it is, but I sewed the whole quilt, had this leftover, and this is my leftover block. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. I can't even remember the whole quilt. Just made a whole quilt. And then this one, I made my blocks for the American Quilter Sew Along, which has not started yet. I was lucky enough to get the patterns in advance so that I could do them all at one time. And this is my leftover. So these are my two new additions. And this is what I made previously. I wonder what I'm making with Christmas morning. See, that's what I mean. I can't remember anything. I'm trying to remember too. I can make a whole quilt. So oh, this is. I remember, but I don't know if we can say it. Okay, well then yeah, we can't. I don't think we can say it. Well, you can tell me later so I can remember what yeah. I made. They're sitting in my office, right? Yes. I have no idea. I just make stuff. So I've got lots of blocks and I'm excited that I was able to add two. I can tell that I'm gonna have too many this year. And so I'm gonna have to do a very complicated backing. So this is a free pattern. We do write it to use the triangle paper. Mm -hmm. If you don't wanna use the triangle paper, you can just kind of figure out the math. 
and you could also just change the sizes to however you know whatever you have you could have use different triangle paper or mm -hmm. but I I'm loving this and I'm hoping this one works in it's very different than my normal fabrics I'm Thank still trying you. to oh I know what I made it with okay I just remembered thank yeah. God okay I can tell y'all oh okay now that I remembered so I took if you're a member of the Sew Sampler, your April box starts our new recipe cards. They're not really called recipe cards, but there are little pattern additions to the box that we do, and we do a series every year. So next year's series was designed by Sherry McConnell, and she used her brand new fabric. I think it's called a Happy Life or something like that. But it's her next collection and so we're gonna have kits of that but i wanted to take it and just do totally different so that you have two options to look at so i sewed all 12 of those blocks in two days using christmas morning and this fabric right here which is not available yet but it will be here in may and we're in march so it'll be here soon and i'm going to show them to you you know in the live streams throughout the year uh, happy days thank you for the Sherry McConnell line. Yeah, something, something, something. <laughs> okay, the next thing I want to show you, and then I'm going to take a little break in a little bit. Yes, you're on a good roll here. Yeah, the next thing I want to show you, I found out about two days ago. I was uh, on Facebook, and this little image popped up. One second, okay. And it was a post on Facebook by Corey Yoder, and she said, oh my gosh, I'm going to do a Spring Brook Blossoms block of the month, and she's going to start April 5th. So I thought, oh my gosh, I have to do that too. So on April 5th, which is a week from Monday, she is going to put her fabric requirements so you have time to buy your fabric. And then the first block is going to be April 19th. And it's going to be a six month free program. And on the third Monday of each month, you get a pattern. And each pattern, since there's 12 blocks, I'm assuming you do two each month. Mm -hmm. And she's using her fabric. And I don't know what fabric she's going to do, but, or what pre cut she's going to use, but I'm going to buy a fat quarter bundle. So if you want to use her fabric, I would recommend buying a fat quarter bundle or a fat eighth bundle now. And I'm going to use this background fabric. The SKU number is 20708-36. Her white on white from that collection is sold out. So I'm gonna use this because I love this and I already compared it to make sure it works. So I'm gonna use this. Now, I don't know what she's gonna use. She's probably gonna use a Bella Solid. So I'm gonna buy a Fat Quarter Bundle, 20708-36 and Okay, go back to the picture real quick. Mm -hmm. Okay, because look at that, that's got some yellow in it. But if I buy a fat quarter bundle, I'm thinking I might have some pieces left over where I can make this because this is a new pattern called Buttercups. And I have been wanting to make it. So I have set it, it's been sitting in my sewing room since I got it. And I thought, well, there, there's four fabrics right there. If I don't use them all, I can put them right here. So I'm gonna try to use this and this and my leftover fabric from the quilt to make this. Ooh. So that is my, that's my guess on, now I don't even know what I bought. I think I bought five yards, oh. but I love that dot. So we have plenty of that dot. And I bought that dot specifically because I wanted to have a good white on white dot because we continuously, no matter how much white on white we buy, we keep increasing it and it just, we can't keep it in stock. So I just bought a ton of one of them and mm -hmm. said, I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna buy enough to where we can use it for a whole year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I picked one that I like because they're my quilts. Yeah. Um, okay, so I wanna show you this. This, we got a question, Ashley got a question. Ashley reads all the questions on our YouTube comments. Yes. Actually, Lily and I do also. Yes. And we had a question and they wanted to see what the January and February low volume bundles look like. Now I am making, I am using this fabric and I am sewing it in the, my favorite color is Moda pattern. Mm -hmm. And I left my blocks at home because I'm gonna make, I have actually marches, I have sample cuts for March. 
and in March I'll show you how far I've gotten I think I will only need about seven months of fabric to make the whole thing but this is the look of the bundle and you can see we try to put in some whites some creams gold pink blue all kinds of colors there's even some purple here all different ranges of colors so that you get a really good stash of low volume fabrics and so in March I will show you um, if you want to see my blocks that I've made I think I showed them last week or two weeks ago or who knows two weeks ago Lily says I can't remember what I do so this is just somebody asked to see this so I wanted to show it Yay. okay are there any questions on any of that because I'm about to take a break and what I'm gonna do after the break is we're gonna show we have a new Lori Holt book we actually have two new Lori Holt books so I'm gonna show you one of them today one of them next week because I don't want y'all to get the two books confused and I don't want to get myself confused and we're gonna show one today and then I'm gonna show you all the new Moda that we just bought and all the new Riley Blake we just bought so that you can see that up close now if you are a YouTube member I went through and showed every single piece of fabric some people like to see that some people don't but I am gonna show you where you have at least a good enough look to know what it's gonna look like uh, oh, and that background that you're about to ask me? Yes. 20708-36. Yes, and the, that is for the the white on white dot. And it matches perfectly to Corey Yoder's Spring Brook fabric. Now, if you're doing that Spring Brook fabric, she doesn't require you to use her fabric. So you can use any fabric. You can take, mix and match her older fabrics. Now, I'm going to sew with her fabrics because as a business owner, I feel that it's fair if she's giving something free to use her fabric. So for example, if Moda does a free sew along, I use Moda fabric. Mm -hmm. If Riley Blake does a free sew along, I use Riley Blake fabric. Mm -hmm. If Vanessa Gertzen does a sew along, I use Vanessa's fabric mm -hmm. because I want to stay true to what they're doing. And I probably won't change any of the fabrics. I'll probably just do it exactly like hers. The only thing that look like I probably won't, I'll probably use a yellow border and I'll probably make it a fatter border, but I'll just decide later. Okay, so Lily's going to come talk to you for a little bit, and I'll be right back. Woohoo! Trying not to uh, kick Fiona over here, who's on the side. Hello, everyone. My name is Lily, as lots of you guys know. Uh, voice behind the camera, camera person, all that good stuff. Uh, things I'm going to talk to you about today. So I have been getting questions asking, Lily, you hyped up Nebula so much. What's going on? I'm working on it. I am working on it very slowly. I will have progress to show you guys, fingers crossed, next week. I have been working on a lot of work things, work things that cannot be shown, but I, I brought my binding for one of those things to kind of show you guys that um, I am working on stuff. So here, here's my binding for the last quilt I've made. It was a big quilt. And it will be shown when the fabric that goes with it comes out. But here's the binding for it. So there's stuff, there's proof that I've been working on quilting things. Um, but yes, Nebula, I, I will have blocks to show you next week, one, two, and three, because then the next set comes next month, I believe. So there's that. Um, other things, oh, I didn't pull up the comments for myself. So <laughs> if there's any questions, Ashley, just feel free to shout them at me. Uh, other thing is I am wearing a kind of ridiculous shirt today, but I love it so much. It's a, if any of you guys have ever been to Texas, it's a Bucky shirt. I'll do a little spin here on the little spinny chair we have. Uh, I am going somewhere this weekend today. We are, me and my partner are leaving today, uh, for fun. And the shirt felt very appropriate. So feel free to guess where that is. I'm not going to tell you guys just because there's a few things that need to fall into place for us to go to this place. Um, but hopefully next week I can show you pictures of where we went and what we did and all that. I'm very excited. Uh, it's been a little bit of planning. Um, yes. Any questions? No questions. Okay. I can just keep talking about things. Um, I am also wearing an Austin City Limits shirt from two years ago. I was going to go last year, but it, you know, with everything, it, it got pushed back. So fingers crossed my tickets transferred over to this year. And I'll also, I'll show you guys, I'm wearing these shorts that are uh, got from Target. 
I tried, I got them yesterday and I tried them on at home and my partner Cruz looked at me and he's like, you look like a fifth grader. <laughs> I was like, thanks. Goes with my uh, baby shoes as he calls them. All right. If there's no questions, I will hand it back over to Kimberly. All right. Ashley's giving me a thumbs up, so I will let Kimberly come back on. I think Kimberly's trying to see if there were questions. Um, but yeah, she's back in the room. So thank you for having me. She's dressed for summer. I am dressed for summer. I told them I'm going somewhere and for them to guess where that is. Oh, I didn't know you were anywhere. Will you move this camera so I don't knock yeah. it over? Yeah. I, the other day, the camera fell and <laughs> someone caught it. The and I don't, I don't want that to, I don't want to drop it because I know I'm not going to catch it. Come on, camera. Okay, so this is the first thing I want to show you. Oops. Okay, so we have a brand new book that is going to be shipping in Oh, hang on. Don't have the ship date. That's not right. I think it's July. So the book is called Flea Market. It is using the flea market fabric that is already out right now. And what we're going to be doing is this book is gonna ship in July. So we're assembling all of the blocks and then when we have them all photoed and do the photo shoot, we will bring them and show the full quilts. I'm gonna to talk to you about what's in the book today and what we're gonna be offering. So we are shipping the book in July. And we are gonna do, this is a main kit that you can buy the quilt kit so you can click to be notified when it arrives. And I am going to stitch this along with you guys. So we'll divide it up into uh, some kind of quilt along and I will sew each week. And then we can get uh, Lori to also sew each week. So there's the main quilt. I'm gonna show you some blocks from the main quilt first. So there are basket blocks that go around this part. So I'm going to show you some of the basket blocks. The best thing about this book is these blocks float. So this is about three quarters of an inch. So when you put them together, they do not have to touch. See how they float? And I will, of course, talk a lot about that when we do the sew along. And these are the exact fabric. So this is actually what is going to be the actual quilt that is on the cover of the book. And these are all very beginner. So these are some of the basket blocks. We just wanted to show you what we have so far. And Deborah made all of these. Mm -hmm. And these are the churn dash blocks. So there's two of each. I have them out of order now, but there are two of each color way. And those are gonna go around the center star. So you can pre-buy the book now and you can click to be notified for the main quilt, which is from this. The book is not included and we have three other items that are gonna be in the book. Well, there's actually more, but we're gonna show you the three table runners that we're kitting. We're gonna kit all of the table runners in the book. This is the Flea Market Star. And in all of these table runners, we are including a spool of vintage trim, which is her rickrack. The next one is the Churn Dash Runner, which is the one I wanna make. And then, oh my gosh, look how cute that is. And that's on her brand new pink blossom book, book stand. stand. Bees knees. So that is how it looks before the binding goes on. Mm -hmm. And that photo was taken by Gina Till yes. of Thread Graffiti. This is Primrose Runner and so I could see this in all kinds of fabrics. And then also in the book are 
pillow tops. I'm gonna show you, well, pillows, sorry. Let me get over here where. We are taking each of the different basket blocks putting it in here and showing you how you can make a 20 inch pillow. And she has them all colored so that you can make them into pillows. And we have instructions on the pillows. So I'm gonna show you each of the pillows. We have almost all of them done. I'm not sure if we have them all done. And so this is her flea market collection. The, the fabric is out now. When she does these books that are based on collections, the fabric comes out first. And then when she gets her sample yardage, then she designs for the book and then we put them into the book. But Riley Blake will keep that fabric in stock so that we have plenty of time to order. Now I have ordered all of the fabric to make the main kit, all of the table runners and the fabric will be arriving um, July, August. So we, Lori and I hope you love this as much as we do. So cute. Denise Panetta said, do you need So Simple Shapes for that book and quilt? No, so her So Simple Shapes are used with her Riley Blake free sew alongs that she does with Riley Blake. Riley Blake does her applique patterns and It's So Emma, which is our company, does her pieced patterns. These are all beginner, everything floats, even this. So see how this floats? You yeah. don't, the only points you have to worry about is in the block, and these are big. You can use triangle paper um, to make all of these. They're super beginner. And I'm gonna sew along with you guys, so as I do with all my sew alongs, you know, if I use a certain triangle paper or a certain ruler or anything, I always make notes to tell you guys kind of what I did to make it easier for me. If you want to kind of watch what I do and then go from there. And lots of people want to know if there will be a cross stitch. Um, we just, okay, we, we did a cross stitch. Okay, we just released Flea Market Flower. Can you zoom out of my face? Uh, yeah, sorry, <laughs> give me one sec. Something happened to the camera here. Oh, okay. So the Flea Market Flowers, I can show that. Oh, thank you. This is going to be the one that she did for cross stitch using that collection. And so we are releasing this pattern on Monday actually. Now this goes with her applique pattern. But if y'all want this in a cross stitch pattern, she can add it to her list and it will just come out after the other things that she has planned. So this is the flea market one we have planned now. It is based on the fabric colors. So if I put a block on top, the greens match. Mm. Let me find another one. So she got the closest she could. Like if you look at the blues match pretty good. Mm -hmm. She um, listed dm we list the pattern with dmc because dmc had the best match for the colors so this pattern comes out monday and we have a floss pack for it and we sell the th the fabric and everything and she did have this custom framed so there won't be one yet for this if you want one i'm sure she'll design it not a big deal but this is the one that we're doing first so pretty it is i love it so much so pretty Oh, oh, just kidding. Front camera. Okay. The front nope, camera There said, we go. Fancy said, was just being temperamental. She yeah. said not today. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now, no questions? Uh, nope. Will there be a cross which was the last one? Okay. So I'm going to run through and show you Moda new items. You can download this to look at on modafabrics.com. This is their March 2021 catalog, and I'm gonna show you different collections that Fat Quarter Shop bought and the kits that go with it. The first group is Jungle Paradise, which is on the cover. It is by Stacy Itsu. It will ship in August, 
and you can click to be notified when it comes. And there is one quilt kit that is designed by Wendy Shepard that Moda is kidding. So um, that was a sew along that Pat did, Reese, Pat Sloan did recently with Wendy Shepard. So you've probably seen that pattern before. So that's the first collection to show you. I'm trying to figure out where to put these when I'm done. Is there another cart? Let me, I can clear it. Yep. Yeah, and I'll just dump something in there. Sorry, because I'm, I'm not going to have any room. Yes. Then, okay, so I'm going to show you the catalog too. These are going to be the Stacy Itsu patterns. This one is Wendy Shepherd's though. And this is Stacy. So, Ooh, thank you. Here's her. Will you take this so that I don't mess it up? Uh -huh. Just to be safe. Oh, yeah. And then will you scoot that? Yes. Sorry. Okay, good. So that's the first collection with one kit. The next collection, Anila Hui is back at Moda and she is designing again. This fabric is called Make Time. It ships in September. We, we are pre-selling it. And this are, these are existing PDF patterns that we currently sell for her. This is going to be a Wendy Shepard pattern that has different coloring on the front of it that Moda recolored. So if you buy the pattern, it won't look like this, but this is how you could color it. I love this group. Mm -hmm. And so here you can see there are scissors, houses, glasses. These are pins, more scissors, gingham. I think this is going to be a great backing, all of these. And the blue is really nice because it's um, a little bit country. And it's nice to have different blues rather than always having the dark and the medium and the light. Like there's more blue to that. There's more to blue than just dark, medium, light. Mm -hmm. So this is Make Time. And the kit we have is a Jolly Bar kit. It is called Unchained and it's 62 by 68. And that is the Bella Solid that we have in that kit right there. There will also be three large and three small needle cases. The next collection is called Modern Background Even More Paper. So there was several years ago a group called Modern Background More Paper. And any of the SKUs that Moda still has in reprint, we still have in stock because that collection has sold so well. Be and the reason why is I think people are using it for back backings of quilts. Mm. So this is the collection. Ship September, we are pre-selling it. These are going to be her patterns. And this one right here, Lily will show you, is going to be a kit and Lily's gonna pronounce it. Bauhaus. And this is how it looks. So you can see, oh, in the Bauhaus quilt, that is using this collection combined with her spotted collection. Mm -hmm. And it does have the same exact colors as the previous collection. So it goes from white, cream, light gray, medium gray, dark gray. So that is modern background, even more paper ships September. Zen chic. Okay, the next one. The next one I'm very excited about. I think I forgot Ooh. my paper though. Your paper? Okay, I think we forgot. I didn't tell you to pull it up, the image. Okay, we're doing a sew along. Oh, that's right. Can Ashley get it out of my desk? It's in the middle drawer, left drawer. She'll, she'll hear me okay. in a second. There's a, there's a big lag in the thing. Okay, so this is Sincerely Yours. It is by Sherry and Chelsea, and this is one of my favorites. It ships in September. And these patterns right here are Chelsea's patterns, which is the daughter. These patterns are Sherry's patterns, which are the daughters. The fabric range is awesome because it has all kinds of Valentine colors. It's not just your traditional red, white, pink. It's got coral, pink, light pink, orange, purples. It's awesome. We do have one kit that is packaged by Moda in a box called Good Hearted. It is 50 by 60 inches. And that's going to be that kit. 
but we're gonna have a second kit, which we're gonna show you in a second, that we are pre-selling. We just put it online on Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. And this is the collection where you can see there's hearts, florals, some geometrics, just really nice. And purple. Yes, and so the pre-sell kit that we're pre-selling is going to be a paid pattern. Let me show it to you. Okay, it's not on here. It is going to be a paid pattern that is $12.50 retail by Sherry. She's going to do free videos for the sew along and you do have to have the pattern. You don't have to use her fabric if you don't want to when she does the sew along in the fall, but we are pre-selling the kit because we have got so much interest in it. Here, let me see, just show me. Thanks. It's none of these. Oh. Yeah, you'll have to pull it, oh. Here it is, I have it. Yay. Can you put this back? Sorry, it has some sensitive information. I don't want anybody to see at the oh, bottom. I didn't even think that was in that drawer. Thank you. Okay, here it is. So she is on week one, it's gonna be October 1st, week two, October 10th, week three, October 15th, 22nd, 29th, and she's gonna do different blocks each week, but I'm definitely sewing this along. And I got to see a sneak peek of it that she made and it's awesome and I'm gonna show you what makes it so awesome. This collection has this big dot. There, you can see it right there. Oh yeah. And it looks so good in this quilt. Sometimes I'm afraid to use big dots like that. So that is, I'm very excited about that because that is something I'm gonna sew along with you guys on. The next group is Ladybird. Mm -hmm. It was named after Ladybird Johnson, we found out. Mm -hmm. The designer is Crystal Manning, ships in August. We do have one free pattern that we will have on our YouTube channel and we will have a quilt kit. It is called Fat Eighth Flapjacks. And that is the quilt. So that's gonna be our kit that we're offering in that. And then these are gonna be the patterns that are designed by Crystal Manning at the bottom here. And then this is up close of the collection. So it's got a large range and you're gonna see a lot of orange in this release that I noticed. A lot of orange and a lot of this blue. So this is Crystal Manning Ladybird. The next group is Another favorite of mine, mm -hmm. it's called Cozy Up. I love it. We're gonna do a Jolly Bar out of it, which we didn't add to the rotation, but it is online. The kit is Roadside Harvest by Moda, 72 by 80. I am going to stitch this. Mm -hmm. I need to reach out to Corey to see if she's gonna do it as a sew along, but I am going to, if she doesn't, I will, because I wanna make it. I have to have an excuse to make it, right? Mm -hmm. And then these are her patterns right here. We are gonna have a Jolly Bar in this. And this is the collection. And I love it. And I love the dot, look at the dot. So that dot is very similar to the dot I showed you guys earlier that I'm gonna use with her Springbrook mm -hmm. stitch along, tiny dot. So that is Sincerely Yours and Cozy Up are my two of my three favorites so you'll have to comment and tell us which ones are yours when we're done this next group is by acorn quilt acorn quilts which is brenda riddle i think i dropped something just ignore what i did because i don't know what i dropped <laughs> if i don't have to find it i don't know what i did uh this is called grace these are her new patterns these are her traditional colorways it ships in august and this is an up close. Oh, sorry. You're sorry, good. Lily. Thank you. I didn't even see it. The next group is Summer Breeze. Now, Moda does this group every couple years, and it's always very similar. And we buy it um, maybe every other time. 
And these are some collections that are going to be designed by just different uh, pattern designers. This is an in-house group, meaning that the designers that work at Moda put this together. It is very wildflower-ish blue, yellow, and white. And the one thing that I am offering with this is we are doing a bundle of just the blue and whites because I know a lot of people really like the blue and white and you know don't necessarily want the yellow. So we will have that available also. All of these are on our website, either for pre-sale or click to be notified. Oh wait, there's a kit with that. If you want okay, to yes. The kit is called Starry Skies and that's the kit. The next one collection is called Love Lily. Oh. They didn't spell the name right. <laughs> it's a different Lily. It's a different Lily. It's April Rosenthal. So this would really match if I needed some extra socialites blocks. This would really match the socialites blocks I just did. Mm -hmm. This one is going to be pre-sold. It is September delivery. These are her patterns. I happen to love this one. It's mm -hmm. called Russian Rubik's. This is how the pattern looks overall. Very bright, very fun. I love this print, it's little hearts. So mm -hmm. it's available in several, it's hearts and daisies. And we have one kit, it's called Mini Charm Chiffon. And so Lily and I are gonna do a video on it. It will be a completely free pattern that you can use with any fabric. Mm -hmm. The next group is by one of my really good friends, Ann Sutton. It's called Prairie Days, and it is awesome. It is an Americana group. This is written as her traditional block of the month, which is an applique, and each section is a month. Moda is kitting this into one kit, so what you would do is get the kit. It is called Needles and no, oh, sorry, not that one, sorry. sorry. It is sure. called Prairie, Prairie Days. Days Block of the Month. So you can buy this kit. This kit will come pre-packaged from Moda in a box. The other kit we're offering is Needles and Pins, and it's actually bigger than it looks. It's actually 60 inches square. It looks small, but it's much bigger. Really uses a lot of the Jolly Bar. Mm -hmm. And she's got some embroidery patterns, some pil pin cushions, pillows. She always has a little animal. Hmm. And this is the collection. I do think this print right here is going to be used on a lot of backings. It's really cute. And to go along with this group, I think they match really well together, and I don't think the designers would mind me showing you this. This is Belle Isle. So you could mix these two if you're looking for an Americana, make, looking to make an Americana quilt. This is very similar to Mackinac Island. It matches exactly. These are now basics. Those were some of their star prints and they put those back in reprint, just so you know. These are all Minnick and Simpson patterns, except this one is Diary of a Quilter. It's an existing pattern. And you can see very similar to Mackinac Island, everything very similar. So if I wasn't done with that quilt, I could just add some. And there's a couple of kits that Lily's going to show you. The first one is Postage Stamp Journey. This one's going to be a free block pattern and a paid PDF for different sizes. And we're going to do that on a video. The next one is River Stars, which is going to be made out of our Jolly Bar. And it's pretty big. It's 68 inches square. And then we're going to do an It's So Emma pattern called Embark. And we really wanted to just pull some of those reds. The next group, Lily is going to say the name. La Vie Moam. And these are going to be the French general patterns. And here are the colors. Now, sometimes she does just red and white. Sometimes she does red, white, yellow. Sometimes she adds a brown. This time she's got red, white, and the lighter blue. This ships September. Sounds like a good name for a book. Red, white, and the lighter blue. Red, white, and lighter blue. <laughs> That's funny. The, this is Hope Blooms by Kansas Troubles Quilters. Very traditional colors. And the kit, Lily's going to show you, the kit is a little bit different because it includes two quilts. You can make the quilt and the table runner. So because of that, we're not offering a backing set separately. 
just because I didn't know if people would want the same backing on both and I thought that would confuse people. So that is the kit. And this is the collection. Has all of her ranges of colors that she uses. So it's not missing any of her colors. The next group is by Kath Holden. It's called Outdoorsy. And this is the color range. This is the quilt kit. It's called Big Star, and Lily's gonna show you. It's 85 by 85. Wow. I bought the kit because I know people would want it, but I don't know who's gonna make it. I think that whoever buys it is gonna let it sit in their stash because that looks so hard. It does say that this Omni Grip ruler is included in the kit, so that makes me think it's strip pieced. Mm -hmm but that is called strip piece um, on steroids. So I don't know who's <laughs> gonna make that quilt. Whoever is, I go for it. So it's cool. beautiful, uh -huh. but it I've never made a quilt like that. Yeah, very impressive. So here are the fabrics. These This is the collection, and there are several panels that go with it. This is a panel. It's actually running yardage, but it repeats every 24 inches. It comes in this color and this color, and this is just a pop-up of some of the images in it. Mm -hmm. And then this is another panel, running yardage, and then this panel is available in two colors, this color and this color. And then this is like a pop-up of a postcard down here. So this is not real size, this is kind of what would be in your postcards. Gina Tell says she wants to make that quilt. Oh, Gina, you go for it. Go, Gina. You go for it, I'll buy it. I'm done making it though. <laughs> Let's see. I'm skipping a couple. Okay, the ones I skipped are the ones we're not buying. Now this one is called Urban Homestead Gatherings Wovens. This is by Lisa Bonjean, who taught me all the starching, primitive gatherings. This is a woven fabric. It is beautiful, it's very soft. One side is soft and one side is flat. Ships in September, she will have a new book that encompasses a lot of patterns and she will have individual standalone patterns also. And this is a close up of it. So my three favorite I'm gonna show you now, if I can find them, is, <laughs> let's see, Sincerely Yours. Cozy up. And wasn't it make time? Yes. Okay, good. So. I'm like, am I changing my mind? Maybe you are, and that's okay. And then Lily's, so those are my favorites. I'm gonna show them to you this way, and then we're gonna do Lily's. Yes. So big range of colors, but guess what you see in most of it? Pink, Pink. blue. Okay, so I'm gonna show you Lily's now, because I know Lily's. Okay, this one. Uh-huh, sincerely yours. This one, Jungle Friends. Jungle Paradise, yes, that, that yes, is please correct an me. additional one, yes. And then Love Lily, right? Yeah, and Lady Bird. Okay, wait, yeah, I gotta find it. I don't know where that one went. <laughs> she couldn't pick the other day, so yeah. it's right here. So Lily gets, she's special, she gets four. All the color. <laughs> and some of these, I mean, we've kind of been, we've kind of been, some of these we, we were kind of picking fabric, so if it's a mess, it's just us, you know, trying to put together some stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. So guys, I want you guys to comment and tell me what is your favorite. Mm -hmm. And I want to answer any questions on all of that before I yes. move on. Okay. Um, first of all, the eBay bid for <gasps> Best Friends Quilt right now. I want to know, now, I want to know. It's up to $350 after nine bids. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the thing. This is the, this is the, the quandary that I have. That eBay is set up with my eBay, so I don't even know if I can bid. So I might have to go create another account yeah, so would. that I can bid. You would have to, yeah. Because, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm gonna bid. I mean, I made that quilt, so I have the right to bid. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna win. I'm gonna make sure I don't win, probably, but I have a certain amount that I'm willing to pay, and I'm gonna bid that. Mm -hmm. uh, Lacey Hamilton said, any chance for a Jolly Bar Club? So we might be able to do that at some point. We don't buy enough to fill up the 12 months right now, but as we increase, we could be able to do that. The problem is that they would come in all kinds of crazy increments. So 
fabric companies do big buckets like in certain months so all of the best collections ship april may june september october november and then the other ones are not as popular so you would end up getting kind of it would be random and then it's kind of hard to explain but then also would you want every jolly bar because you might get four in one month and none in another because mm. we do buy them based on a group so that's the way that we term it is an a group means it sells at a level of a so we have to buy a huge quantity to be able to do it so we're only able to buy it for our a groups because mm -hmm. we're not sure like if it was b group i'm not sure if it's going to sell Crafting Upon Life was asking, will there be videos to go with the flea market quilt along and when does it start? Okay, so there will not be videos, but I will show blocks and we have not planned the sew along yet. So we will release that. Uh, Lori and Sarah are working on those details right now. Mm -hmm. So we don't have a date on that yet. And Lori Berman says, can you use Fat Ace for the Cory Yoder blocks? I don't know. I would, she's not going to give the fabric requirements until April 5th. So I would, if you really, really want to know, I would just email her or ask on Facebook. Mm -hmm. That's where I found it. Mm -hmm. And I am going to sew along with that one. Yes. And then Lori Berman is also a new YouTube member. <laughs> Welcome, Lori. Thank you. And another new YouTube member is Brenda Shoot. Welcome, Brenda. Thank you. Oh, and I think Brenda's profile picture is a Disney World. That's super cute. Oh. Yes. Okay, so I wanted to show you this new kit. We cut it this week, and our kits have been selling out, so we are trying to show them each week if they don't sell out. The reason you've seen less and less is because they keep selling out. Mm -hmm. This is Splendor. It uses the Sanctuary fabric by Three Sisters. Yes. So we have an It's a Emma pattern, a kit, Sarah designed it, Deborah sewed it, and mylongarm.com quilted it. His name is Mike. Hey, Mike. And then I'll show you the back. Mm -hmm. And on any of these quilts that you see that either Mike at mylongarm.com or Gina Tell at Thread Graffiti, if you ever like the quilting, they both save what we use on each quilt. So if you want to use that pantograph on something else, they keep records of it. Mm -hmm. Are there any other questions? Uh, let's see. One just came in, sorry. From okay. Bonnie Eisenhower, she says, what is the thread Kimberly uses for binding? I think it was a coded thread. Okay, read that again. Uh, she's asking what thread you use for binding, but you just use Aurifil, right? 50 yeah, just use Aurifil. Okay, so when I attach my binding, if I do it, I use 50 weight, just attach it normal according to our videos. When I stitch on the back, I just use 50 weight and I try to match the color of the binding fabric, not the quilt back fabric. But luckily, Jean has been doing all of them for me lately. Mm -hmm. But I do actually, it's my favorite part is to do the binding. I just don't have time anymore. And then before we move on, I did just want to give a quick shout out to our Serendipity Charity Fundraiser. Yes. We are up to $51,794. Yay. Yay. So that means we're really up to 81000 Yeah. And so because of that, we have a new kind of goal chart that we've made to show our, our new goal. Since it was $50,000, we have reached that and you want to reach 100000 total. Yes, so thank you to everyone. I'm so excited and so appreciative. And I know Make-A-Wish is so appreciative. And as they're able to grant more wishes, we will be showing you um, all of those as we do them. Mm -hmm. They're kind of um, been put on hold. The families are given the option to delay the wish if they would like to. And for everyone curious about what the next tutorial will be it, for the next row, April 5th. Oh, okay. And that's Emma's birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Emma. Early birthday. Yeah. She's going to be 14. Can you even? I can't even. <laughs> don't, ask, don't ask me how raising a 13-year-old girl is because it's tough. 13 hard. It's 13's tough. Hard. I used to be kind of mean to my mom, too, so I kind of get it. But my mom, I think she just was like, she just rolled with it, whereas I don't so much roll with it. <laughs> My mom is like way more laid back than me on that kind of stuff. So I think she was just like, ah, oh, whatever. Like, 
but that doesn't really work with me. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you some new Riley Blake now. This one we've already shown you, but I want to show you again. Yeah. This is the next group called Stitch. I'm sure this will become a cross stitch. This is going to be her applique quilt. All of this, this is her kits that we are have on line. And this is the collection. So I know we've shown you before. I just wanted to show it to you again. It ships this July. Mm -hmm. So coming up, cause you know, we're almost to April. So before you know, it, it's gonna be July. So on this one, I will not sew along because I don't applique, but I might make one of these. There we go. Okay, there you go, yeah. Just because I don't applique, I don't, I don't wanna start now. And then these are the two other kits. Those two come in a special box. And then the next one is a Jolly Bar kit that does not come in a special box. That one was designed by Lori and uses her Jolly Bar. Because we're doing a Jolly Bar with that collection, plus a background. And the background that we're using in that kit is from her B, B backgrounds. And this is um, some 108s. Ooh, those are cute. Yeah, those and remind me of the cross stitch she just did, the flea yeah. market. Mm -hmm. And this is Cheater, and this is Cheater. So you could cut these out, or you could just put them on the back. So I know I'll use this a lot, because I've put them back. And all of these should be on our website. This is Indigo Garden by Heather Peterson. Ships in October. This is the collection. So it is definitely like, I would call it kind of a modern fall. Yeah. And there are two quilts that Lily's gonna show you. Mm -hmm. The first one finishes at 19 by 44, so it is a table runner kit. They also package their kits in boxes. The next one's pretty large at 62 by 71. And I believe that she is going to have Trendy Tables 3 book also that she will have, so she'll have a new book. Mm -hmm. The next group, I've already gotten some custom orders Ooh. on this. This ships in November. So I actually got a custom order last night because somebody wanted like seven bolts just for them. So I know it's gonna be popular because anytime you get somebody requesting full boats, you know it's gonna be popular. Now, I'm gonna tell you that I don't understand the gnome thing at all. I think these are great colors. <laughs> I don't understand gnomes. I don't think Lily does either. I, I don't either. And I don't get the hair thing, but I mean, I see them. I mean, we live in Austin, so of yeah. course you're gonna see stuff like that. Because yeah. people do a lot of like gardening and all that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Which I mean, it's cool if you like them. I, I just, I Oh, yeah, I we just don't understand it. it. Or, so yeah. we're just like, we, we want to meet the people yeah. so they can explain it to yes. us because we can't keep the Nomi fabric in stock. And so Kevin <laughs> and I get worried because we think we keep by because things are trendy. Mm -hmm. So things go in trend, out of trend, and you never want to buy a ton of something that's in trend that goes out of trend because you're going to be stuck with it. So mm -hmm. we keep thinking, when are the gnomes going to stop? Because we don't want to get stuck with it. <laughs> This next group is for the Love of Nature by Teresa Kogut, and this ships in October. Teresa Kogut is a well-known cross-stitch designer, and I got her in touch with Riley Blake, and this is her first collection. I think it's gonna be awesome. And this is going to be something that cross-stitchers definitely buy. It is a larger panel that is 36 by, so it's one yard basically comes in the black and khaki. It is based on one of her cross stitch samplers and one of them is in a kit called, um, they're just calling it For the Love of Nature. So you can see that in the center of that kit is this panel right here. Oh, you can leave it up, oh, Lily. There you go. <laughs> so see this, this right here is in the center and then they just add straight borders all the way around and that outside border is right here. It's this running. Oh. It's this, so this is great for, begin it's a beginner quilt that looks complicated. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow, it looks very yeah. complicated. Yeah. And it's it's a very inexpensive kit, which is great. And the reason why is because it's not a ton of piecing. The next group is Quilt Fair by Tasha Noel. Ships in November, and this has my name all over it. Yeah. This is a 100% home run. Kimberly is gonna ask for sample yardage 
and I will sew something with this on live stream because this has all my colors. And if I did anything, I would take these two out because I have the right to do that. And I love these. Oh my gosh, it's I love it. Yes. So it's Tasha Noel. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. It's probably my favorite. Mm -hmm. This is Saturday in Paris by Christopher Thompson. And I can tell you right now, this is gonna be um, awesome. It is going to sell out. We did order extra of all the Eiffel Towers. I love the poodles, the stripes, the text. I love everything about it. Um, and it doesn't have to be Paris. If you don't want it to be, you could take the Eiffel Towers out <laughs> yeah. and it could just be a floral collection. I love the florals. Yes, it's so pretty. I love it. Oh, I love Christopher too. Mm -hmm. And then this is Cooper by Bella Boulevard. Lily likes this one. Yeah, it's so cute. Not that I don't, but I mean, like, we all have our favorites. So mm. it's got the dogs at the park and um, some text and two panels. So this is going to be a free pattern that uses these, these panels. And you can see it uses the inserts of the panels from this one. But of course, you could use it in this one if you wanted. And those panels are one yard panels. So that's Cooper. And then this one, oh my gosh, I love it. This is Sugar and Spice by Lindsay Wilkes of Cottage Mama. And it ships November, and I love it. And I don't even have a cat, but I love it. It's so cute. It's like based on vintage Valentines. Yeah, they're so cute. I know, I love it. And that's these are just bigger pieces, like it's a bigger piece of that. This one... We do have something planned with this one. We can't tell you it's a secret. Ooh. It's called Falling in Love by Dana Mogstad. Ships November. And this has my name written all over it without that. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> yeah, I just don't use black. Yeah. But I love it. I think it's awesome. I think the little stand is cute. And of course the truck. It's just cute. You can't see the truck, but it's up here. I'm like, there is a truck. It's just up here. It was yes. chopped off. And these are the panels. There are five panels. So this is the, what the truck looks like up there. These are three, one yard panels in three colors. These are 23 inch wide panels in two colors. So this would be great. You could just take one of these, put a minky on the back of it, like a pink, a C3 dash one of the pinks. Put it on the back, put binding on it, and you're done. And then this one is going to be one of the biggest sellers out of this whole bucket. It is called She Who Sews by Janet Wecker Frisch. And it's got a lot to it, so I'm going to try to explain it to you slowly. Okay. This is a panel. No. This is a border stripe. So across the salvage you get four so it's a border stripe that you could put across a quilt these are yardages this is going to be the most popular this is a 23 inch panel but wait there's more <gasps> this is part of the collection right here oh. this is a very wide panel digitally printed 43 by 54. This is called planning ahead. I just made that up. It's a canvas panel that has 2022, 2022, 23 mm -hmm. and 2024. Wow. So she's planning ahead and wait, there's more. <gasps> That's also part of the collection. Wow. And wait, there's more. What? That's part of the collection. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show it to you again because it's a lot of stuff. Border stripe collection panel. Panel, panel, collection. Collection and collection. The best seller out of all this will be right here. People will put it on the back. Mm. The next, oh, this is going to be some new wide backs called Perennial. It is by Jerry Robinson and ships in October. So lots of um, color variety here. 
This one is called Into the Woods, and this this kind of stuff, just like, I don't even know, I'm telling you guys this, this is like something that will either sell so good we can't keep it in stock or it won't sell at all. So because cute. it depends if it's still in, and it's a trend. Mm. So when you get, this is a trend. So if this, if for example, Hobby Lobby just takes away this mm. trend and doesn't decorate with any of this, I see what you mean. then it's not gonna sell. And that's just, I don't know how to explain that, but what Hobby Lobby does with their decor, does affect our sales. That's so interesting. Not our sales, what sales. Yeah. And this one's really awesome because it's got the bears and the bear prints. I love it. And then this I'm very, very, very excited about. It's called Sparkler. This is gold sparkle. It is a new basic. Even though it's got the gold sparkle, it still has a lower price point. So that's really nice ships October, I will be incorporating this into collections. And I do hope they add a white or a cream or both, just because I feel like those are missing. <laughs> fingers crossed for both. Yes, sorry. fingers crossed. Oh, sorry, I, can, I can't see, but she thinks I can see, but I can't see, I can only see like right there. <laughs> okay, this is Hot Wheels. Yes. And on this one, I did want to, to acknowledge this one does have a much higher price point. And the reason why is it's licensed, so for every yard they sell, they collect a fee to pay to Hot Wheels. There are two panels, and they are 36 by 43, so one yard panels, mm -hmm. and they're canvas. So they will be a higher price, mm. because they're canvas. But you can just see, remember the Hot Wheels where you would like, yeah. put Four, your car through it? Four-year-old me would have loved this. Yeah. I loved Hot Wheels. You did? Yeah, it was a weird thing. So these are my favorite. Falling in Love, Sugar and Spice, Sunday in Paris, mm. and Quilt Fair. And of course, Lori's, but I'm not considering Lori's in this bucket just because it was from a previous bucket. Mm -hmm. What are yours, Lily? Uh, Saturday in Paris. Okay. You got two. Uh, and the, the kitty one, Sugar and Spice. Okay. And Cooper. Okay, I gotta find it. And Indigo Garden. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Indigo Garden. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I really want to make that table runner kit we showed with Indigo Garden. It's really cute. Oh, and it looks easy too. Yeah. Nice really easy. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a uh, pattern, paid mm. pattern. This one? Yeah, that one. The one that comes in the box. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, the, the kitties and the puppies and the, the flowers and all of that. I'm feeling spring. Yeah. Okay, so I did want to give a big thank you to Karen from Just Get It Done Quilts for featuring me on her channel. You can check out that video on her channel. It's called Just Get It Done Quilts. And we did do a video feature called Fat Quarter Hop Cobblestone that we did a flashback. So we're gonna do videos that we did in the past and just kind of show older videos. So that one is a great way to use up Fat Quarters. Completely free pattern. Yes. Tutorial Tuesday is what we're calling it. Yes. Sorry, right. I didn't read that. No, you're good. Also, my jaw dropped right now. Oh. The eBay auction is up to $1,025. Oh, well, that's more than I'm going to pay, so I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry. <laughs> You've but, outbid Kimberly. Oh, my gosh. You just upped me. Oh, my word. Thank you that's, so much. Oh, my gosh. That's job. like, that was a big jump from. That was a big jump. Was it 300? Yeah, it was three or 350 So before. that's like. 3.2 times what it was. Yeah, that's with 17 bids so far. <gasps> oh, God. I'm wow. so excited. But when you make that payment, it's going to go directly to Make-A-Wish. Yes. yes straight, straight to the cause. And then a few questions from Stephanie Smith. Who will send our receipt for our donation? Is it Make-A-Wish? Make-A-Wish. So we um, have everything set up where Make-A-Wish is the um, contact or... I don't know how to explain it, but they collect the money and they um, give you a, you actually get an email with your receipt. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, that's cool. And so if you're doing a tax deduction, I'm actually a CPA, so I can actually tell you this. What you oh. can do if you buy the quilt, you can take a tax deduction for your donation, less the value of it, and you just create that value yourself. So you get creative. Mm -hmm. I'm a CPA, but yeah. 
I would say to take, I would use, if it was me, I would actually use a reasonable value, but you can deduct that amount. You can't deduct the full amount of your payment. Oh. You can deduct your payment less the value of what it is. Oh. So for example, when we donated our quilt to the rodeo, you have to set a value mm -hmm. to give to the rodeo. So when they give you your receipt, it's what you paid minus the, what you got. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, that's just the IRS okay. rule. That's not a Kimberly rule. That's a... Oh. That's how that's it works. That's an IRS. That's just a, My uncle is an IRS auditor, though. Oh, my gosh. I wouldn't want him to audit me, though. I'll tell you that. Oh. <laughs> I do call him for tax advice, though. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I always forget you're a CPA. Uh, let's see. Question from Margaret Bergen. Has Kimberly talked about the next year's So Sampler Block of the Month quilt at all? Okay, so I'm going to show it to you after it has shipped and after the sneak peek date is now is gone yes. i think you will like it sherry mcconnell designed it the blocks are smaller and they look different than last year's they are very easy to piece and there is no applique so i can tell you all that i made them in two days if i could all i could have done it all in one one day if i had a full day but yeah i could have done it they were easy and i was i was like on a roll i was going to town making them and then a little insight to the gnomes thanks for the people who put in some oh info yes on tell this. us uh gay casper says gnomes are good luck in sweden okay and then cynthia mitchell says i'm one of those gnome people and there is no explaining it i bought one for my garden a big concrete plain gnome who stands by my grapevine with a wood platform of roots next to him oh and he has a name like our cameras <laughs> <laughs> yes all of our cameras are named thank you well, it's up to one, but yes. yes. So guys, thank you so much for the Make-A-Wish donations. Uh, Lily and I truly appreciate mm -hmm. it. Thank you for watching. I can't believe that somebody would sit here and watch me for two hours and 10 minutes because <laughs> to me that's just unbelievable. But we do thank you. Um, put anything in the comments you want us to see. Ashley reads them. I read them. Lily reads them. We answer right away. So anything you you know that maybe I missed, I would love for you to ask in the comments. And like the video, share it, and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.